Uh, hello everyone, me again. I'm here with my last review for twenty six for two thousand and sixteen and summer two thousand sixteen and yeah. And today we'll be reviewing Umarak the Destroyer. And yeah. So on the front of the box see Lego Bionicle, see the mask of control there, and see Umarak in a destructive pose and Umarak the destroyer there. Um, and the age limit is eight through fourteen, set so number uh, seven one three one six and has hundred and ninety one pieces. And on the back you see yeah. Well, all the features of his and the actual size of the mask and the little comic strip that there is and how he and all the other beast sets make combine to make something and Umarak is highlight because that's the one this is is in the yeah. down to the booklet which is about the same as on the front of the box and everything on the back you see how to win like a products on the online survey and you see all the Force Awakens Ultra Build sets. And the combination model that he and the be other Beast sets make. And advertising Netflix Netflix series and the mobile app you can get. And the, uh, the uh, comic strips that there is. But much bigger. And promotional poster. The pieces that come with the set, of course, and the final build makes steps for him. And that's about it. Look at that. Now to the the actual set itself. Oh wait, that's Umarak the Hunter. Wrong one. Here's the right one. So first and foremost, this is, he is quite a really large set. So, normally start from the ground up, like always. Get the uh, both feet pieces, the protector feet, and the uh, storm beast feet. Or, I mean, quake beast feet. Uh, yeah, splitter beast feet. And the. Uh, and also got the uh, technique pieces for the upper legs. And the. Uh, uh, other limb pieces, but in this trans yellow color, and he, uh, and, uh, but except it's the sideways type ones instead of the open ones, and has the lower ones as well. Could use the longer ones, but what, what are you gonna do? And also the friction joints for stability again. And the same feature as the Uniter sets had, and the some of the other sets have, have which is the Swivel Torso one. And also, you see, the same exact uh, piece, or a ribcage piece, also used on the arms, and also from Skull Scorpio from last summer, and same exact large chest plate piece, but like if it was for the last few ones, the printings are stickers that you put on. Wish it could have been printed, but yeah. Oh, and also to point out, the these are the Skull Spider ones, but in clear yellow, which is cool. Just like what Storm Beast had, and yeah. And, uh, you can see the upper part, which also made with some Technic bits and for the mount of the head to go on to and as see, for the mask or the has the same feature as the other beats sets have and also the Ben 10 tail pieces but in gold which is cool and you press on that and it makes the top mask part fly right off and you see it's pretty terrifying some like some good scar marking in it and some other symbols and stuff and ferocious teeth for him and some clear yellow on the sides and also got the same exact 
headpiece that is yellow like some of the other, like all the beast sets had. But unlike the other ones, it has a reddish orange eye stock piece it's instead of a yellow one, which is kind of good. And for the shoulders are the, the shadow trap pieces, just like what Umarak the Hunter had, but more of that later. And also the uh, new crystal pieces, but in yellow, or clear yellow. And also the hands, which are uniquely built. The large, the long claw pieces from the Hero Factory Invasion from Below line. And same exact pieces as the chest a bit. As, and also these uh, yellow Borak eyepiece, which you could count as another finger, but yeah. They, and you turn that and it makes them open and close like that. Which is pretty cool. Kind of reminds me a lot about Nidiki from the Metro Nui age. And yeah. So a little comparison of Umarak Destroyer and the last one, Umarak the Hunter. You see, it doesn't have the antler horns, but, you know, and also a lot more bulk and girth to him. Or just more bulk to him. And same exact design of the legs and feet, but a little more chunkier, if you, you can say. And also some more, oh, whoops, some more things added to the hands. And... No other weapons, but that's all right. And same shoulder pieces and a chain dangling on one shoulder piece, which really captures Umarak the Hunter a bit. And, and yeah. also a size comparison with him, with the last version of him, the Hunter. And also a last Star Wars construction line, General Grievous one. And then as you see, Grievous actually stands a little bit taller than him, which I'm quite surprised about, and he's a little tall, a head taller than Umarak the Hunter is. But, and of course, he has a little less pieces than Grievous, but, yeah. And also, what I forgot to say about it, that the head part that kind of well captures the mask of control a bit, which came with Umarak the Hunter a bit. And like the sides, and yeah. So now, uh, an overall verdict on this one. That I think this is a pretty good set. Probably like the biggest of this line, the summer line. And yeah. And if you're like looking for a new Titan set for, to complete your collection for this of 2016 and everything, or if you want another the new version of Umarak the Hunter, then go out and get him. And one of the best so far. And also have all the other 2016 sets. It's all right here. So like left to right. Uh, I'll save a key for last. So, so here we got Quake Beast and Storm Beast and Lava Beast, Umarak the Destroyer, and Akimu the Math Maker. All lined up in one and playing out to well, playing out cool together. And that's a pretty good line for summer 2016. And let's see what they got in stores for 2017 and whatnot. And that is about it with this review, and thanks for watching.